first raid of the day and it's a white light of course let's check it out let's check it out dynamite 500k 356k c white light for mithril ore so we're just doing the farm run right now and we are using you saplings we ran out of all of the the magic ones of course we just have a, a dead tree right here but uh i wanted to show you guys the price of coconuts um you can grow palm trees and then just like casually pick them every day and without having to like regrow a new one and look at this just from like three trees i forgot to pick a couple of them three of them 100k this could be good for low levels this is gonna be unique man Thirty nine thousand points nope it wasn't all right <laughs> let's see let's see what we get anyways 800k chest oh this has been a rough raid man holy we just kept misclicking maybe a unique or just a white light like every other raid a lot of ore well, I've spent the past couple of days here at Mixing Mixology, yeah. And we can finally buy this item right here, the Reagent Pouch. It's going to be costing 13, 11, 15. Let's just buy this bad boy. New collection log slot, the Reagent Pouch. So let's see how this actually works. So we've got the pouch in the inventory, right? And we can take out all these like I have nudes and we can just click use and it would fill the entire bag with the I have nudes. And then we can just take out these potions right here and we can do, I believe, do they not come right from the bag? Um, oh, we have to open it up. Okay, cool. Now we can do, oh, this is so good, man. We can do the whole inventory. So now we can like fully AFK our herb lord training rather than uh, doing 14 potions at a time. So it'll be similar time to say cooking or fletching. Uh, yeah, but we're going to get the other rewards before we do a whole lot of herb lore. All right, so we've been at Mixology for quite a while, I would say, at this point. Uh, we've got a decent amount of points. I think what I'm going to do first is buy these goggles. So oh that's painful man new uh collection log slot we got the goggles look at these things oh god they're actually pretty fucking ugly but uh they help a they they do help a lot i guess time to farm like another five thousand of the lie points why are these so behind well, finally, we have enough points. We're going to be done here. We can buy the amulet right now. So let's make sure it is the amulet and buy this new collection log slot, the alchemist amulet. Let's go. Well, it is update today. And I believe if we click the combat achievements, we will be getting six tasks complete. Not too bad. All right, big, big moves once we harvest these trees. Look at that, 25 million farming XP. Trying to keep up with these. Oh god, I hate spending so much money here, man. But uh, anyways, we're back up to 7.5 mil. We're still doing herbs, and um, we're also just doing uncooked fish until I get 100k of the um, swordfish. All right, let's collect. Let's collect the resources. All right, okay, nothing crazy. Good amount of herbs, which is nice. Some seeds. Uh, freaking laggy as hell today for some reason. Hopefully it's not my internet. Oh, surprise, surprise. It's a white light. Let's see what we got. Six, almost 700k of herbs. All right, one more shot. Why are we lagging so much today, bro? Like, this is crazy. Ah, white light. Come on, man. Ah, mahogany planks. Another kill for a white light once again. 39,000 uh, points there. Uh, mithril ore. Unlucky day, man. No purples. 365kc for a torn prayer scroll. 366 for a white light. Oh my god, 800k of herbs. 
Another day, another raid, let's go, let's go, nothing. So this is kind of cool. Now with this coal, we will have over 100,000 coal in the bank. What the fuck? So the internet's been terrible all day. My mouse died, so I had to get my old mouse, which sucks and clicks really loud. What the hell, Mondays, man. This shit is so depressing, man. You make it all the way to Ohm. Then you start lagging, disconnecting. That wasn't even a Jagex problem. Um, my internet just fucking went out for no reason. Um, there goes 45 minutes of my life. Well, back to it, I guess. Another raid complete. Uh, Alright, here we go. Here we go. 95 runecrafting. Yeah, this is this is on the alt account, not the not the iron. Three hundred and sixty nine KC for rubies. Eight, eight HP, eight HP. Oh my god, I misclicked. Just hit him once more, and we should be good. We should be good. And twisted bow. I'm just kidding. Never lucky. Never lucky. Pure essence. I'm feeling a purple today, you know what I mean? I got the day off of work, which is great. Friday, it's always nice to get a nice Friday off. And, uh, oh, might have misclicked there. Might have misclicked. Oh, I think we're good. Hopefully, it's a purple, man. It's been a while. It has been a while. White, as always. 374 KC for... That's a second mithril drop today. Hmm. I forgot my uh, Dragon Hunter crossbow, so I actually did this kill with the Bofo, which is hilarious, but we got it, we got it. For nothing. Another one at 376 and coal. Starting this day off with a beautiful purple chest, but unfortunately it is a Dex. I mean, how much money is that these days? Like 13.6 mil? Uh, can we get a back-to-back -back purple? Never happened before. Nah, I didn't think so. All right, let's see what we get. 378 KC, Torn Prayer, Scroll, and some Death Runes. I love the omelet pad. I hope one day I get it. I mean, if I'm going to be here probably for another year anyways, yeah, we'll probably get it. But it's very rare. I think it's like... When you get a purple, I think it's like a 1 in 55, 1 in 50, 60 chance, something like that. And so far we've hit, let me quickly check, we've hit uh, 15, 16 purples in since February. So, yeah. And to be honest, I think we're actually like fairly lucky on purples. Um, so far my chambers points is 10.4 million points there is a uh rune light plugin where you can actually track the amount of uh points that you get so we've got 10.4 million and i believe the chance to get a twisted bow is one in 30 million or one of the uniques from there anyways so uh yeah we're about a third of the way there so it's just gonna be a bit over a thousand kc if we get the drop rate but i'm hoping i don't know like some days i walk in here and i'm like today's the day we're gonna get a twisted bow and it's just it never is but uh yeah so it's officially two months now since i've moved out of my parents house and have been living on my own i guess with my girlfriend but uh two full months now man the time really does fly by um we've been definitely enjoying our time here there's been a few comments asking so i thought i would bring it up in this video it's definitely been a lot of fun for sure um just a lot more freedom in general i can kind of like do a lot of things like a lot more youtube stuff i even streamed a couple of times too right i was just complaining about um it being too loud all the time usually uh, where i used to live um so for that part it's been really good too i've also been kind of fixing my sleeping schedule kind of thing um I work a nighttime job, so I work 3.30 p.m. till about 1 in the morning. That's another thing people think I just do YouTube full-time or something. Definitely not. I've got a job working like 44 hours a week. 
Um, so yeah, I've been doing that and uh, I've been waking up really early in the morning and there's been a couple days where I've really burnt out because I'm getting a lot less sleep than I used to. Um, I definitely catch up on sleep on the weekends. Like yesterday I slept for like 12 hours, which was really nice, but typically I get about five, five and a half hours of sleep a night and uh, I wake up in the morning uh, with my girlfriend. She leaves for, for work. Sometimes she comes home in the middle of the day for lunch, which is nice, but uh, yeah, she'll leave for work and I'll work on YouTube and play RuneScape the whole day. And then 3.30, I head out to go to work. I actually start at 3.30, so I usually leave around 2.30 or so and I uh, head for work. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty fun. It's been nice and uh, yeah, it's definitely an experience for sure. Um, I am 24 years old, gonna be 25 actually in December, which is cool, but uh, definitely uh, needed to kind of get out on my own and kind of like experience things for the first time. I just wanted to kind of get that through because a lot of people were commenting and asking how the new place is and it is awesome. I'm really enjoying it a lot and uh, yeah, we're supposed to be here for a year, but we might be here for a little bit longer than a year um, as well because uh, we just like this place quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's central in town, everything, and uh, internet's good. Um, for, for the most part. So what's to come in the next couple of months? Um, we've got the leagues coming in November. Uh, I believe it's at the end of November, and I plan to take, take a couple of days off of, oh god, that could have been bad. Take a couple of days off work so I can make some leagues videos and kind of get ahead. I've still got a bunch of vacation uh, days that I can book off at work. So that's the plan as of right now anyways. Uh, hopefully they'll allow me to get it off. We've been quite busy at work. So maybe they might say, yeah, no, good luck. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. But hopefully I'll be able to take a couple of days off as well. I also, in November, I'm um, going to be getting a, another tattoo, which is cool. I've always uh, wanted to get like a time sort of tattoo in a way um, because time's like precious and valuable, right? So I'm going to be getting an hourglass on my arm right here, which is going to look awesome. Um, so that's going to be fun this month. Uh, we'll see how that turns out and everything like that, but I'm excited for that. Um, so maybe book another day off there, but uh, yeah, and then get this month over with and then we'll head into December and December we've got a shutdown at my work, which is awesome. We're going to have like a week and a half off or something like that. Unfortunately, my girlfriend's got to work the whole time, but that means for me, I'll just be no life in RuneScape all day, every day. Pro probably going to be, unless the leagues is still like, oh, I mean, it's still going to be on. If I'm big into the leagues, maybe I'll just play the leagues. But if not, I will probably be trying to do as much rating as I possibly can. I really want to get this grind over with. And the more rating I do, the the better really i i i want to make more videos and do slayer and stuff like that but i just want to finish raids and uh yeah it's a brutal process oh my god i literally forgot to bring my other weapon can we get a two purple day no we cannot oh god let's see let's see dragon arrows what a tease and another ohm is dead for a white light. That's 380 KC now, not too bad. Oh my god, another... What is this, a torn? 381 KC for some mithril ore and soul runes. For some reason, I always am like, yeah, I'll keep this topped up and do it like once a week. But uh, I mean, it's only at 88%. That's not too bad. A lot of the time I've been getting it to like 50 lately, maybe even lower than that. I'm kind of curious to see how many contracts, farming contracts that I've done. Um, so what's my current? Uh, no, how many contracts have I completed? 597. Hmm. Whenever I'm like, oh, I got to go do a farm run because I always do like usually I try to every morning at least do a herb run and a tree run to just get the XP up and maybe one day get a pet. Um, but I'm always like, oh, yeah, I got to go do it. But to be honest, I actually like really enjoy farming. It's one of my favorite skills in the game and it's just fun to do like a run every day. It's kind of just like relaxing in a way. It's weird. I don't know what it is. I I've always really liked farming for some reason, and uh, 
yeah, I don't know, just the collection of all the secondaries, and you get so much XP, and you do the work now, and then it kind of just pays off in the future, you know? Now, don't quote me, but I might start farming seaweed again just to stack a bunch in the bank. I also think it's a decent way of getting the farming pet, I've heard. I don't know how true that is, but uh, getting the spores is kind of a problem. But sometimes when you're down here, they do just spawn kind of here. I'm not going to go out of my way to get the spores, but... Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people even do like skilling down here because there's a chance that the uh, the spores will spawn while you're like fletching or something like that. But I mean, one already spawned while just picking the seaweed. So sometimes I think two or three spawn at a time. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep up with this over time. Get like 100k seaweed. That'd be pretty cool. Well, it has been one hell of a progress video, and uh, right now I'm going to be putting up the loot from the Chambers of Zarek that I have gotten from 380 uh, completions. So as you can see, 380 kills is 346 million GP. It goes up and down sometimes, uh, depending on how much the items are worth, of course, right? We've 16 purples, which is actually fairly lucky. We're about 10.4 million points right now as well. Um, so some notable ones in here, obviously all of the uniques, um, we got the Dragon Hunter Lance, which is great, Twisted Buckler, um, and obviously the Prayer Scrolls are nice as well. Uh, the next most expensive thing is Dynamite, which is insane, 12.8 thousand Dynamite, and look at all the herbs, like 3k, 5k, 2k, and 1,000 Renars, 3,800 of the Dragon Arrows, 36,000 Coal, like... 3k mahoganies almost 5k teak planks like uh, 23,000 myth or 35,000 uh silver or uh you know 31,000 soul runes 12,000 blood runes is definitely nice as well um 14,000 of the death runes, 12k gold, which is great for smithing training, and then take a look at all of the gems too, which is pretty freaking cool, um, like 3,000 rubies, 4,500 uh, emeralds, sapphires coming in, a little bit of diamonds here and there too, and 26 of the uh, torn prayer scrolls. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool, and also 300,000 just regular pure essence, but yeah, totaling up to 346 million GP. Gonna be uh, trying my best to do as much chambers as I possibly can. I know next month is going to be the league, so there's gonna be a little bit of time taken off to play the leagues, and I'll probably honestly just be fishing on this account the whole time too. But uh, yeah, we're at almost 400 kills, for example, right? And I've been doing this pretty much since February, but it did take a couple of months to learn. Um, so we're going for a thousand. I think a thousand is technically the drop rate for the Twisted Bow or 30 million points. And currently I'm at like 10.4. So a thousand, 1100. Hopefully by then we will have a Twisted Bow. But if not, we'll just keep going. So probably close to another year at the pace that I'm going. We'll try and like step it up a little bit, but I don't want to only do Chambers of Zarek content. I don't want every one of these videos to be exactly the same. Like, oh, another white light. But uh, it's just kind of how it's been. And I really want to knock this goal out of uh, the park. Get that Twisted Bow. Claws would be really nice too. Um, a bunch of the rewards would be really cool. But even just a unique for for fuck's sakes man it's just uh, an oh another piece of toilet paper like another dexterous prayer scroll like it's just one of those things but uh yeah uh these progress videos obviously are taking like three weeks to a month to make now too because there's just like a hundred plus hours is going into each episode it doesn't seem like it but it is and it's kind of crazy but uh yeah it's just one of those things that takes a very long time to do now but i'll keep you guys entertained with other types of con content on the channel like money making methods news updates and just things that i find interesting about the game but uh yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video today if you went ahead and watched the whole video comment twisted bow down in the comments below maybe that'll give me some luck on the next couple of raids but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next one see ya later